Quick English. A friendly guide for learners. Hey there! If you're looking to learn English quickly, you've come to the right place. Let me share with you some easy and fun ways to improve your English skills. These tips are based on my own experiences and what has worked for many others. Grab a cup of tea, relax, and let's dive into it. Start with vocabulary. When I first started learning English, I found it helpful to focus on building my vocabulary. Here's what worked for me. Daily words. Every day, I picked five new words to learn. I'd write them on sticky notes and place them around my house. On the fridge, the bathroom mirror, everywhere. Themed lists. I grouped words by themes like kitchen items or travel. This made it easier to remember them because they were connected. Flashcards. I use flashcards, both physical and apps like Anki, to quiz myself whenever I had a few spare minutes. Practice speaking. Speaking can be scary, but it's essential. Here's how I got over my fear. Language partner. I found a language exchange partner online. We spoke for 30 minutes in English and 30 minutes in their language. Talk to yourself. Sounds funny, but it works. I'd describe what I was doing out loud. Now, I'm making breakfast. It helped me think in English. Imitate natives. I watched a lot of TV shows and tried to mimic the actors. Shows like Friends were great because the language is simple and conversational. Improved pronunciation. Clear pronunciation makes a big difference. Here's how I improved mine. Listen and repeat. I listen to English podcasts and repeat it after the speakers. Apps like Uglish help me hear words in different contexts. Record yourself. I recorded myself reading aloud and then compared it to native speakers. It was a bit cringeworthy at first, but super helpful. Tongue twisters. Practicing tongue twisters like she sells seashells by the seashore helped make my pronunciation smoother. Reading and writing. Reading and writing are just as important as speaking and listening. Here's how I made it fun. Start small. I began with children's books and short stories. They're simple and often have pictures that help with understanding. Daily journaling. I kept a journal in English. Every night, I'd write about my day. It helped me practice sentence structure and express my thoughts. Book club. Joining an online book club for English learners was fantastic. We read the same book and discussed it, which improved both my reading and speaking skills. Listening skills. Listening can be tough, but these tips made it easier. Podcasts and audiobooks. I listen to English podcasts and audiobooks while commuting or exercising. It was like having an English lesson on the go. Subtitled shows. Watching English shows with subtitles helped me catch new words and phrases. Eventually, I turned off the subtitles to challenge myself. Songs. I listened to English songs and read the lyrics. Singing along helped improve my listening and pronunciation. Everyday immersion. I tried to surround myself with English as much as possible. Label everything. I labeled items around my house with their English names. Seeing. Refrigerator. Every time I opened the fridge helped cement the word in my mind. Social media. I followed English-speaking influencers and engaged with their content. This kept me exposed to casual, everyday language. Think in English. I made a conscious effort to think in English throughout the day. It was hard at first, but it became more natural over time. Staying motivated, keeping motivation high was crucial. Here's what kept me going. 
set goals. I set small, achievable goals, like learning 30 new words a week or finishing a book. Celebrating these milestones kept me motivated. Track progress. I used a language learning app to track my progress. Seeing how far I'd come was incredibly rewarding. Fun learning. I found ways to make learning fun, like playing English language games or cooking recipes in English. Learning English quickly is totally doable with the right approach. Remember, it's all about consistency and finding methods that you enjoy. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. They're a natural part of the learning process. Keep practicing, stay curious, and most importantly, have fun with it. You've got this.